Today I'm going to be assembling the Pond King Floating Turtle Trap. It's a little late in the season. I wish I'd have done this early in the spring, but because of other activities, wasn't able to do it. But I need to do this because I have way too many um, turtles in my pond and I'm getting ready to turn it into a fishing pond. So I need to remove as many turtles as possible. And this is one of the ways to do it is with a floating turtle trap. This is again from Pond King. It's a good quality um, trap. You can see the hinges here. You can see where they've color coded it and they've provided very good instructions, which is I have here already taped on the table. And I've already made sure all that all of the hardware's there. You can use power tools or you can use simply a couple of press it wrenches and a screwdriver. So I'm going to quickly assemble this and then we're going to place it in the pond and hopefully we get some good results with it. So let me quickly assemble this and I'll get back with you. All right, we're almost 90% or 99% with the install. So a couple of notes is instructions don't really talk about how to install the top. They do talk about how to install the floats and install the floats make sure you, although it's in the picture, make sure you put one washer on each side. So it's pretty fresh straightforward. The uh, one challenge for me was installing the top panel. And um, just, you may want to set it on the side, you may figure what you need to do, but I decided to basically get a socket wrench, which is what I did. I ended up getting a socket wrench so I could so I could do the install, which really made a big difference because I could, you almost need a second person to help you do the install on this. Now, the one thing is there are no um, replacement parts, or I should say, poor term, there are no extras. There are no extras in the um, hardware. So one of my screws was stripped. Not a big deal. I'll, I'll go get one at the hardware store and replace it. But again, the hardest thing to install was this. It will really work real well, but the problem is how it's installed. The design, I like the design. The design is good. It's not a problem with the design. I do like the fact that it's designed that as things age, they need to be replaced. This, this container will last a very, very long time, but the inside wire at some point will give away. They have it treated, but the nice thing is it is easy to replace. Once you see the design, it's like, okay. So when things wear out, this will be easy to fix, easy to replace. Yeah, so the, the, the cage will last for a very, very long time. But over time, as things age, you may have to replace the inside wiring and all that. But the way it's designed, it's very simple to do that. So I really like the design and the concept of it. So we're gonna put it to work. Once I make this, correct this one little issue I have, then we're gonna put it in the pond. Okay, I'm gonna use my kayak to now go launch this Pond King floating turtle trap. I'm gonna take it and put it over there. You see where those duck decoys are, this feathers duck decoy, I'm gonna replace that. and tie that off to place the duck decor with this and uh, there we go. See how this works. All right, I was able to get the floating turtle in the pond after a little effort. The winds, they were really blowing hard, so it was very difficult on my kayak to get it started. That's why I didn't shoot much of that video. So it took me about 30 minutes to get it in there, but I was trying to do some other stuff too in the pond. So anyway, I've got it out there now and I did have or did was able to catch a small uh, turtle um, slider, a red ear slider. And so I actually placed him in there already as hopefully that'll attract other turtles, but we'll see what happens. So this time will tell, but it's a good design. It'll work fine. We just got to get the turtles interested in it. All right, my turtle trap is full of turtles. So I'm going to go out there in my kayak and bring them in and then I'm going to relocate them. Well, let's see how many we got when I pull them on shore. We have seven to eight in here, counted. A couple of good nice sized ones and some little ones. So yeah, we're happy with this. This was only out here for a few days. And so it's working and uh, they're all the red ear sliders with no surprise. So good job, happy.